everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I wanted to introduce you to my second baby rat, and her name is Tentatively Expresso. So she's a really cute little blue hooded rat, and I'm not sure what kind of blue you would call this, but I know it's definitely a blue hooded, and she's super adorable. Just, oh my gosh, out of all three girls, I think her face is just one of the cutest little things. I think it's because her ears are so upright. I have a thing for top-eared rats. They're just so freaking adorable to me. But anyways, yeah, this is her, and she's a super sweet little baby. She is definitely very adventurous. She reminds me a bit of Biscuit in that way. However, she's a little less social with people, so she's not really afraid of people, but she doesn't really like being picked up yet, and I don't blame her. It's definitely not the easiest experience to get used to, but I think she's definitely going to get there pretty quickly. Right now, she is a very happy little explorer. She loves to jump out of the cage. She'll just climb her little ramp and come out and run around, and she and Biscuit hit it off great. I'm not going to tell you the story of why I got them in two different batches today, but suffice it to say that Biscuit came from one group, and I ended up getting these little girls, this girl and the one tomorrow, in a different group, but since they're such young babies, I was able to just put them together and they got along right away. So yeah, they really enjoy playing together and Biscuit and Espresso are just having so much fun rolling each other over and jumping on each other and just exploring the area and they are very, very happy. So before I end this video, I do want to talk about why these rats are so young and this is mainly because I had some people request it in yesterday's video with Biscuit. So the main reason these girls are so young is because when you're getting rats from a feeder shop, you are going to be getting rats who are kept in mixed gender groups. That means the girls are going to be kept with the guys. And, well, female rats can get pregnant as early as five weeks old. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. And while male baby rats don't really have a sex drive at this point, if the females are kept with older males, it's very possible for them to get impregnated. And in fact, it's pretty probable. So to avoid this, you want to get your females, if you're getting them from a feeder shop, before or at five weeks of age. Now, you also don't want to get them any younger than three weeks of age because this is around the time when they get weaned. Now, they do sometimes wean a little bit earlier in feeder shops, like the one where I got my babies from. However, you just want to make sure that they've already been weaned and eating solid food because while I've never taken care of baby rats below this age, they're definitely a lot of work. I'm talking you're feeding them every two hours, you have to help them go to the restroom, and it's just a lot of work and there's a good chance that the baby won't make it because we as humans just can't simulate a rat mom very well. So, you know, it's a lot easier if you go for the slightly older babies who have been weaned. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that none of the girls could be pregnant, which is why I got them so young. So that's really all I have for you in this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Little Espresso. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and you will get to meet the last little baby rat. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye!